M0 FXP, welcome to my Let's Learn Morse. So as I learn, I'm realizing that people use a lot of abbreviation when they're doing Morse for obvious reasons. They can type a lot less, get more information across quicker because it's quite hard work doing Morse code. So you can see I put the chart here, pause it and have a good look and we'll have a listen to a couple of the ones that are common. So, for example, when you do CQ, 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 you then put in the letters DE, which means from, and then you follow it by your call sign. So DE, let's just see what that sounds like. That's D and E. And they do join them together. So that's DE, and then they would in front of that, they'd have CQ, CQ, put that in, and then followed um, with your call sign. Three times, I've noticed. We'll put that in. Hopefully we've typed that correctly. So CQ, 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 let's put a space here. And let's play the whole lot. So that's the Q, that's from, so there you go, that's your typical, that's, that was basically me calling CQ. And there's our other things here, I noticed they put at the end of it, they can put BK for break, to sort of say, it's almost like saying back to you back to you sort of thing. Translate, and then we'll click play. And there's so many more, there's copy. Looking through, there's, there's message. I know there's like, good afternoon is GA. Good evening, good morning. You know, they're obvious ones. Let's put in GM. That's effectively good morning. And there's so many, so practice, practice the ones you think. I mean, there are whole charts of these. I shall put them in the link. And uh, just remember that when you're listening, it'd be great if you could have a decoding program to sort of watch the CW that's being spoken between stations. You know, you do have some that are really, really fast, uh, but find ones that are, you know, a bit more the speed that you can um, listen to. Listening is, I mean, once you get good at listening, to CW, then you're going to find TXing a lot easier. Uh, it's the listening and uh, that is, uh, what I would say, if, if you work every day at this, it's going to take you a good month or longer to be able to just listen and hear, you know, the letters and the numbers from the dots and dashes. So well done for trying, and I'm still trying. And look, for example, you've got U for you, and, and UR for you are, and TNX for thanks. Uh, signal. I know there are other ones as well. Let's see some other abbreviations that I wrote down. Um, AR, end of message. Uh, BT for pause. R for receive. And then you've got a K for invite stations. There it is there. See K on this my chart here. It says at the bottom left, it says K, go ahead. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm I'm learning with you, and um, and uh, let's let's uh, let's have fun using our QRP radios and using CW more seven three. All the best.